Hello everyone, Ryan here. So, just saw this movie titled Voice from the Stone, and it stars Amelia Clark. That's right, the same Amelia Clark from Game of Thrones. And while I will admit it is an interesting story, this movie does have an interesting story, uh, I couldn't help but feel like something might have been missing, or maybe just I wasn't able to pick on pick up on you know, whatever subtle, I don't know, subconscious cues happen to me in the story. I mean, essentially, Amelia Clark, she plays this girl who's like a nanny. She has a long history of working with kids that happen to be either troubled or and or have some kind of mental handicap. And so she gets hired to become a nanny of this, this one boy who whose mom passed away uh, about like seven or eight months prior. And ever since then, he just refuses to talk. Uh, and also, too, he, he happens to believe that, I guess, the ghost of his mother is constantly talking to him on a regular basis. Uh, so, yeah, Amelia Clark's character, you know, she becomes his nanny and... But mostly throughout the movie, she just tries to figure out, you know, exactly why this boy refuses to talk. And eventually, it, it's kind of like, I, I, I mean, I like the first half of this movie. The first, ha first half uh, is definitely interesting. But then by the second half, it takes a weird turn because the father of this boy, he's also like some kind of artist and... He convinces Amelia Clark's character to pose for him, so she poses for him in the nude. He creates a sculpture, uh, a sculpture that's supposed to represent her, but also his late wife. And I, I don't know what that whole thing was about. It was like supposed to be some kind of deep, meaningful, artistic moment. And I, to me, it just came off as like trying to, you know, inject the story with with a lot more, a lot more meaning, you know, in an effort to, I don't know, maybe try to make the audience care a little bit more about the characters or something. I don't know. That's, that's, that's what it seemed like to me. But I mean, ultimately I do give this movie seven out of 10. Yeah. Uh, Amelia Clark, she does give a decent performance. Uh, everything else, it just, for me, it didn't really flow that well. And I mean, I don't want to spoil anything, but by the, the end, again, because like, you know, pretty much, I mean, like I said before, the first half I liked, it was all right. Second half takes a weird turn. And then by the time it gets to the end, uh, it's just, it's, it, it becomes crap. I just, <laughs> to me, it does. I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to say complete crap, but yeah, it's, yeah, I don't know. It just, you know, it seemed like this movie had, it had some potential. Uh, but ultimately, yeah, I give it seven out of 10. I will say if you do, if you're a big fan of Neil Clark, you might want to watch this movie. Otherwise, I'd say don't really bother. So, yeah, that'll do it for this movie review. Thanks for watching. As always, till next time, keep it real, keep on rocking, and peace.